In this video, I'm going to show you how to auto-update your miners in HiveOS. HiveOS tends to push out lots of updates, especially when the miner devs are making frequent changes, optimizations. And one of the drawbacks with HiveOS is that you have to manually go through each of your rigs, if you have a bunch, and run upgrades. Right? You got to identify uh, what the changes were, decide if you want to update the miner to the new version or not. Today, I'm going to walk you through how you can automate that process. And so it'll basically periodically check to see if there's updates and apply those. Uh, keep in mind, these are minor updates only. These aren't the kernel updates. So th this is not going to do a high replace or anything. It's purely going to update the miners. Uh, that would be the equivalent of you going to each of your rigs and updating to the latest version. One thing I do recommend you do is to run your own HiveOS repository. And I did cover that in a previous video. And the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that that server is updated first. So in my case, that's this node. Mine is updated. However, if it wasn't, I'm just going to jump to shell in a box. We're going to go ahead and log in. And the first thing I want to do is I want to run a self upgrade. And this should tell us it's already up to date. And you can see it actually is pulling from itself because this is our repository. So now I'm going to run uh, slash hive slash opt slash repo mirror slash repo mirror uh, hyphen s. This is going to run the sync command and this is going to make sure that everything is updated uh, on the repo side. So we want to make sure we do this first because you need to make sure that your cached version of the HiveOS repo has the latest versions of the miners. Otherwise, when you go to upgrade, it's not going to find them and you might run into some issues. All right, and we can see that that finished that scan and I was already running the latest version, so there was nothing to update there. Uh, and then I'm just going to run self upgrade again and we're just going to make sure that in the event it did pull down any new packages we're installing those on this system, which there are not. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start on this system and turn on auto updates. So we already have the auto update for the repo side done. I covered that in a previous video. Essentially that runs every hour. Now we want to configure auto updates for the actual miners. So to do that, we are just going to do a nano and the file we want to modify is slash hive slash etc slash crontab.root. This is the primary cron file for HiveOS. So we're going to come all the way to the bottom. We're going to add a new line. And I'm going to, in my instance, I want to check for updates every hour. So to do that, I'm going to do a zero. And then I'm going to do asterisk slash one. This is going to tell this thing to run every hour. And then we're going to follow that with three asterisks, all separated by spaces. Then another space, self upgrade. So this is what the line should look like. I'm just going to do a control X, Y to save, enter to overwrite. And then we're going to do a reboot. And then we're going to repeat this process on all of the other rigs. At this point, all of the rigs have been modified uh, for the appropriate cron schedule. So at this point, we are just waiting for the next hour mark to hit so that we can verify that all of these have updated to the latest version. It's at the hour mark now. And what we can see is all the miners have pretty much stopped running um, with the exception of the node. Right, and I believe my F1 Mini is just profit switching. Yeah, 
that's all that it's doing. It didn't actually update. Uh, but all these others, okay, so we can see GPU server 1 has just come back online. These a couple refreshes here. We should be able to see. Uh, I'm expecting a 2000 rig and the RX 560 rig to come back up any second. The servers will probably take a while to reboot themselves. And again, it's not doing a full system reboot. It's stopping the miner, running the miner updates, and then restarting our miner. And here we can see our both of our GPU rigs uh, are coming back up now. And here we can see our servers are starting to come online now. So if I just jump in here, we can see we're running the latest version on that one. And this one, this one, this one we're good. The node, there was no change because that's the server that's actually uh, our repo server that we updated earlier. Storage we're good. Storage 2 we're good. We're good there. And on our virtual host, we're good. So there you can see everything auto updated and it will continue to check every hour anytime there is an update that we have already applied to our node server uh, on the repo side, not necessarily the actual hive side. Uh, it will pull those down and it will install on all of our rigs. Uh, one thing I will say is you don't have to run your own repo server if you don't want to. You can just continue uh, to use the Hive hosted servers, which is the default. However, uh, whenever there's minor updates pushed out, things like that, those servers can really get bogged down. And that can cause some issues, obviously, um, which we saw with like the LHR unlock, where the, their servers were basically useless for a couple days until everybody got their miners updated. So I highly recommend that if you're going to uh, turn on auto update that you also turn on the repo server just because it'll keep a cached copy for you and it'll basically pull everything down from there.